सो दिस इज आवर सार्किट टू कन्वार्ट टू थार्टी वोल्ट ए सी मेन्स टू टुएल्व वोल्ट डि सी आउट सो एट फार्स्ट उल बी यूजिंग टू थार्टी भोल्ट टू टुएल्व भोल्ट स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफर्मार इट उल कन्ट टू थार्टी भोल्ट ए सी टू टुएल्व भोल्ट ए सी नाउ उल यूज आर ब्रिज रेक्टिफायर देयर हुई उल कन्ट द टुएल्व भोल्ट ए सी टू टुएल्व भोल्ट फ्लाक्चुएटिंग डि सी सो लेट्स चेक द वे फर्म हाउ इट उल हाट उल इट डू At first, it is the 12 volt AC which will enter from there in the bridge rectifier. Now, after rectification, these negative half cycles will become positive, and it will give out 12 volt DC but fluctuating. So let's see how it will work. So I have drawn the bridge rectifiers in detail. So when this part is this is the uh, when this is positive and this is negative since it will uh, since it will become positive and negative 60 times or 50 times for 50 hertz power supply in a second so when it will become positive and uh, it is negative then these two diodes will be in conducting mode and current will flow in this direction and will flow in in this direction so this is the negative dc and this is the positive dc out and when this is negative and this is positive these two diodes will be conducting and again current will be flowing in the same direction so it is using both the cycles so we have reached there that is the fluctuating dc now we have to remove that fluctuations how we can remove it so we have used this capacitor filter which will stabilize the circuit like this it will get charged when the voltage is increasing and when the voltage is decreasing it will discharge and the fluctuations will be removed and it will give a stabilized output this one and after this we will get a stable 12 volt dc output so that's all about the circuit so let's go to the practical session let's take a look on what we will require to build the circuit this is a 230 volt to 12 volt step down transformer in these two pins we will apply 230 volt ac from mains and from these three pins that is 12 0 12 the 12 volt and minus 12 volt will be available alternatively and this is the center tap number of diodes will be required to convert the 12 volt ac into 12 volt dc Capacitors are required as a filter to stabilize the converted DC signal. I will make the circuit on this breadboard and now the connecting wires. So let's start by soldering the input end that is the 230 volt AC. We will solder these two wires on these two pins. At first I will wind this wires like this so that it remains in its place during soldering. So winding is completed. Now we will solder these ends. Soldering is done now. Now we will attach the output wires there in the same way. The outputs are the output ports are now soldered. I have to check it at first if it is working well or not. We will set the multimeter to check in the AC mode. Now let's put it on. See the output. It's sweeping around 12, 13 and 14. I am holding it here. Okay. And now let's check the other 12 volt output. I will just change this pin here. Okay. And now I can touch the test leads. Okay. Sweeping around 13 and 14. So okay, the transformer is in okay condition the other part of the circuit at first the bridge rectifier so 
this bridge rectifier part is made so the two P's are in one end the two insides are in sorry the two P sides are in one end and the two insides are in one end so we'll apply this AC 12 volt in these two joints these two nodes and we'll get the 12 volt rectified output from these two ends the positive from here and the negative from this joint okay the outputs here now let's connect the multimeter so the multimeter is connected now and let's put on the circuit and see the output okay it's 24 23 25 so now the question arises why see there i have taken from 12 and 12 so when there is 12 in one port there will be minus 12 in one port and when this will be plus 12 this will be minus 12 so the difference becomes 24 volt and so we are getting 24 volt dc output so there we do need to use the center tap okay so let's use it the wire for center tap is now attached here with so let's continue to the circuit now i have attached the center tap in one end and one any of the 12 one of the 12 volt out in the other so now if we check it will give 12 volt as the multimeter and see the output it's giving 12 volt but it's dc now since it's available after passing through the bridge rectifier before this position it was 12 volt ac and now it's become it has become 12 volt dc so now we have to stabilize it because it will give some ripples and it has still some ac components so to remove this ac component we have to use these capacitor filters so now let's check I have extended this outputs of the 12 volt DC till the two end channels and now I have applied a capacitor across it and now the ripples will be removed that is filtered and we will get pure 12 volt DC from this channel. Let's check it. That's the load resistance there and now let's check the output. It's 11.9 12 volt and more accurately it's giving 11.85 11.76 and sweeping around also use the same to glow some leds i am glowing three leds now with the 1k resistance since i am using the value of the resistance to be high the led is not glowing with high intensity and i can change it also or we can decrease the number of LEDs. Let's see. 